The Arlington Center for the Arts new exhibit features a living history of one of humankind's most creative passions, the colorful and ancient world of textiles. Textiles have been an important part of many cultures for generations used for currency, survival, or storytelling. And now a resurgence of textile art is honoring that legacy, and you can see it right here at the Arlington Center for the Arts. And overseeing this celebration of color and texture is exhibit curator and textile artist Christina Gorenson. There's so much in the fiber arts realm, um, and I just really wanted to do a show where I highlight not all, it's impossible to do all, but many of the different forms of fiber art, um, from weaving to needlepoint and some felting and basketry and paper pulp. You know, I just wanted to kind of bring together great work in all those different um, sort of mediums within fibers. Unlike many art exhibits, here visitors are actually encouraged to touch some of the art. Just look for the hand symbol next to a piece. It can be uh, delicate, and some of the pieces that you're allowed to touch are quite delicate, but I think especially when it comes to fiber arts, it's so tactile. Um, you really want to touch the surfaces or just feel them in general, and so um, it just adds a whole other level of sort of intrigue to the show um, to actually get to touch some of these pieces. Unlike many museum pieces that are under constant guard and priceless, you can purchase one of these high quality items to take home and adorn your wall. We would love to, for people to come and shop. <laughs> um, they are for sale, most of them. Potential buyers and viewers truly have so much to see and choose from. You know, craftsmanship in general becomes really important in, in fiber arts. But even if you just wish to browse, Christina guarantees your experience alone will be priceless. You really want to touch them all and, you know, we have such a I mean, we're, we wear clothes every day, like textiles are all around us. And so I think we also take it for granted a lot. And so it's nice to be able to sort of, you know, put them on a pedestal and put them on the wall and really appreciate textiles and fibers as art. Um, it's really important to, to come and see this show in person, possibly touch some of them that are, you're allowed to touch. Um, but even if you don't touch them, I think it's really important to get really close to a lot of these. Um, you know, some very intricate embroidery and, and the needlepoint and the weaving and just all of them really you have to see close up and, and really experience and spend time with. So I encourage everyone to just come and see it in person. Labor of Life features the artwork of over 30 artists. So come check it out before it's gone at the end of March here at the ACA. For ACMI News, I'm Summer Maxwell.